J.D. Vance is continuing to push the notion that liberals are violent. The left is violent. When we say, I don't think Trump respects democracy, we are the violent ones, even though it is a Republican and a former Trump voter who went and tried to kill Donald Trump. So we're going to go to another video of J.D. Vance from Atlanta, and he is arguing that the difference between conservatives and liberals is that no one has tried to kill Kamala Harris. Mm, misses a couple of critical details. And I know it's popular on a lot of corners of the left to say that we have a we have a both sides problem. I wouldn't argue that, by the way, I think we have a one side problem. We've we know that for decades, the political violence in the United States comes from the right. The occasional left wing eco terrorist rare, very rare. And otherwise, it's right wing violence. So we aren't saying that, J.D. And I'm not going to say we're always perfect. I'm not going to say that conservatives always get things exactly right. But you know, the big difference between conservatives and liberals is that we ha no one has tried to kill Kamala Harris in the last couple of months. And two people now have tried to kill Donald Trump in the last couple of months. I'd say that's pretty strong evidence that the left needs to to tone down the rhetoric and needs to cut this crap out. Somebody's going to get hurt by it. Well, the problem, of course, is that they were right wingers who tried to kill Donald Trump. They were right wingers disillusioned because they lost control of the monster they created disillusioned right wingers who said, I don't think this guy's going far enough. How about taking a little responsibility for the insane racist lies about Haitians that J.D. has participated in instead of saying, oh, we need to tone down the rhetoric. And meanwhile, how many bomb threats in Springfield, Ohio this week, shutting down schools thanks to J.D.'s comments about black seeding cats. Vance claims that the big difference between conservatives and liberals is no one's tried to kill Kamala Harris in the last couple of months. Now, first of all, it's a bizarre metric to use. Vance seems to be suggesting that because Harris hasn't been the target of an attack that we know about publicly, even though Secret Service is constantly dealing with threats and investigating threats to President Biden and Kamala Harris. But there hasn't been a particular one that made the news that that proves the left is more violent, despite the fact that every organization that tracks political violence in the United States finds that it's almost exclusively in the purview of the right to execute and plan political violence. So this is not about any genuine concern about political violence. This is a talking point to demonize the left and Vance ignores the political shooters and these violent actors being Republicans or far right extremists. J.D. is ignoring the January 6th insurrection, the attacks on FBI offices, other incidents that show us that anecdotally, yes, there is political violence on both sides, but it is overwhelmingly over the last decade tied to right wing extremism. So this is projection. This is dishonesty. This is all of the, the normal stuff we've come to expect from MAGA. And it's a deliberate strategy. That's the thing. It's not just J.D. goes up and says, I, I guess I'll talk about left wing violence. No, no, no. This is a deliberate strategy. They see that the violence is on their side. J.D. knows it. I know he knows it because he's not stupid. He's dishonest. He's immoral, but he's not stupid. And so he says we are going to deliberately create this narrative that liberals are the violent extremists. And we're going to ignore the escalating right wing rhetoric that my base thrives on and that the guy I'm running with, Donald Trump, has specifically weaponized for nearly a decade in the United States. Now, for all of what J.D. Vance is going out and doing, Trump's panicking. Trump knows this isn't going well. Trump regrets choosing J.D. to be his running mate. And after the break, we'll look at a little bit of what Donald Trump's been up to the last day or two.